Welcome back. In today's problem, we'll be finding the cube root of a number using Newton's method in C++. As usual, the algorithm first and then the code. So, let's simplify. One way of approximating the cube root of x given an initial approximating is to use Newton's method for computing the cube root with this formula. The continued beta approximation is calculated until the difference between successive beta approximations is less than 1 in a million. Devise a computer solution for finding the cube root of a number using the above approximation. The algorithm. So you're going to ask the user to input the particular number he or she wants to find the cube root of. So we say input x in this case. Then we ask the user to input the initial approximation. So what is your initial approximation? We are going to take it as the old approx. So we say input old approx, which will be the initial approximation. They receive a copy of the old approx in beta approx. Then from there, we are going to do our computation. So we say do old approx equals beta approx. Beta approx equals old approx plus x over old approx to the power 2 minus old approx all on 3. Remember the formula. Now, what this is going to do is that you realize that we saved the copy of old approx and beta approx on top here. The reason is that the value of old approx and beta approx is going to keep changing, but we want the first value for old approx to be the value the user entered. That is why we first saved the copy of the old approx in beta approx, then when we came to the do hello we give you back to old approx then we put that old approx into this formula to compute for the beta approx so when we get beta approx we give you back to old approx put it back into the formula get beta approx give the beta approx to the old approx put the old approx into the formula get beta approx give the beta approx back to old approx put it in the into the formula get a beta approx Put the beta approx into the give it to the old approx and then put it into the formula. So you keep doing this. It's a loop. So it will keep doing this. Now, as it's doing this, it will be checking if the difference between the beta approx and the old approx is approaching 1 in 10 million. If it's approaching 1 in, in, one in, one in 10 million, the moment it approaches 1 in 10 million, this whole thing should stop. Then it should retain the value of beta approx. So print the approximate, the approximate. The approximate cube root of x is beta approx. So the value that is entered x is um, the beta approx. So we have computed for the beta approx using Newton's method. Now let's convert the algorithm to code in C++. So in the int main function, I take, sorry, before the int main function, I include the cmat library because I'll be using the power function, you know, all approx to the power two, so the power function. In the int main function, I declare my double and then I take the input from the user as the number the user wants to find the cube root of and then the initial guess. Then I equate beta approx to old approx. Then inside the dual loop, I do my computations until the difference approaches one in a million. At which point, beta approx will contain the approximate cube root of x. Then from there, I print the value that see how the approximate cube root of x is beta approx. End line, so move to this line. Then I'll end the code with system pulse greater than zero and then return zero. Now let's input some values for x and then see how our code actually computes for the cube root of x. So I, I take 2, 3, 4, and then my initial guess is let's say 23. And say the approximate cube root of 2, 3, 4 is 6.16224. So now you can see that even though my initial guess was wrong, the Newton's method still computed for the correct answer for the cube root of 2, 3, 4. Let's try another one. 7, 6, 8, 7. My initial guess again, wrong 27. You can see that it's still computed for the correct one, which is 19.735. So you see the Newton's method still computes, it computes for the cube root in spite of your initial guess. It will still give you the correct answer. All right, friends. That tells you how powerful it is though. <laughs> All right, friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Write your questions in the comment section or any suggestions. Till then, apart, yeah.